ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Simply Building with Soap the Great. I am here at Spawn, and I've got my control panel back behind me, and you can see our first project series right here. We're going to be building a country church, and I've already found the site for it, so let's head on over there. Again, I warned you we would be using command blocks, and there we go. I'm setting the time to zero so I can use the sun as my timer helper. All right, so here's the site that I wanted to use, and we've got a little hill, and uh, we're backing up by some trees, and I really wanted these trees to kind of frame the church building, so uh, we're going to be putting the church up against this, not like right against it, but uh, we need to do a little bit of site preparation, and... Uh, that's going to involve just moving out some some grass here and possibly bringing in some as well because we need a bit of a flat spot and there we go just to give us an idea of what we can be doing okay so now as far as our materials go we are going to be building with stone brick and eventually we're going to bring in the cracked and uh, mossy, but for now we're going to build with the regular stone brick. And we'll come back in once we're putting in details to to get the uh, the rest of that. Okay, so for now build it and then come back and ruin do the ruins stuff at a later time once everything is in. Okay, so we're also going to be using oak wood. The log variety and stairs and we're going to be using some stone brick stairs some cobblestone fences and for now that should be good okay so what we want to get started with is our foundation and if you have watched me previously I enjoy building on odd numbers so we're going to do an odd number here and I figure this we want to probably come out a little bit we don't want to run into any of these trees we just want to leave them right where they are and not not interrupt them too much so we'll come out here that gives us enough space yeah right here so there's our cornerstone and we're gonna do nine so three four five six seven eight nine okay and then we're gonna come out 15 okay so one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so uh, you may be thinking that's small. Well, it, it is. Once you start putting in the details, it it ends up getting pretty cramped. So, so what we want to do is just fill in, and and then what we'll do is fill in the. Oh, come on. It's not working. There we go. And we're pretty close there. Yep. And we'll just fill this in. And that'll be our foundation done. And don't worry about the height at the front here. We will remedy that as well. Okay. So. Now, on most foundations, you are going to see dirt underneath a poured slab. We're not going to do a crawl space here. We're just going to put blocks on the ground. And we're not going to leave any holes there. And then we'll fill in the floor. Now, you may have seen me build one of these already and I did in my single player or not my single player my multiplayer series it's gonna be the same type of design but we're going to go from from the beginning okay so that's that's kinda of what you're getting right here I am going to make this a little more early survival friendly if if you remember in my multiplayer I used glowstone in the floors we're not gonna do that because glowstone is not readily available early on in in most people's games unless you're 
pretty quick and just go raid the nether or set up a witch farm. That's not what we're doing here. So uh, let me know if you want to hear the commentary of, of the other, other stuff you would consider in your in your worlds um, I would greatly appreciate your comments there all right so there's our foundations 9 by 15 so it may look rather large but again once we get the walls in and start putting in the internal details it's going to shrink up pretty quickly okay so that's the main portion of our building and uh, let's just get going with the walls we're gonna go we're gonna go one high for now and that will give us our door area so just fill in the wall now as far as inspiration for this build um, I have I'd already put it together in my creative test world and uh, that's that's not where I got it from. I looked up a number of pictures for um, for these country churches, and it mixes a lot of different uh, different architectural styles, um, different denominations. It's it's going to be a we're going to use Christian iconography on it, and so a lot of different denominations have different styles of architecture. I don't know if you have noticed that before, but uh, I've definitely noticed it. So we're kind of mixing some, a um, little bit of Southern Baptist and Lutheran, um, and and just kind of getting the small country church feel. It's not a big cathedral or anything, so uh, that's it's really uh, it's, just, it's kind of a mix. So what we want to do now is get our little foyer, and again we want it to be odd. So uh, we're going to have three wide on the inside. So that means our walls need to be five, five wide or five from each other total. And then what we want to do is make sure that once we start putting in windows, we're going to get two. So we'll get one there, separate block there, and then the door. Okay, so we're going to come out one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, five total on the foyer and then the shared wall with the the main sanctuary area and we'll just fill this in same as we did for oh there's a flower there you can't place blocks and we're it's pretty tall over on this side normally I probably would have flattened it out some but I don't know this this gives it a pretty good character and let's not leave holes I don't know what do you think do you leave do you just cover over and, and leave holes um, underneath your builds? Let me know. I don't I don't like to do that because it tends to start spawning mobs. We're not going to do that here because we're in peaceful, but it's just uh, a consideration that I have when I am building these things. Okay, so we'll cover this in. Not not like that. And there we go. Okay, so. There is our foyer and the main seating area done. Okay, now what we want to do is make things a little bit more comfortable for people that are going to be coming in. So we'll make a little staircase here. And this might change, so do bear with me as we uh, finish this thing out. All right, and we'll come around. And once again, we've got holes filling in. Oh, and the sun is going down. So let's let's hurry up and get this done. And I am just having all sorts of fun times here. Those flowers. Okay, so there is our our foundation and initial walls and our walk-in area. So, uh, with the sun having 
gone lower in the sky. That is going to be it for this episode. So join us next time as we finish up the walls, and we'll see how far we get after that. All right? See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>